Oh. Hello. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> okay. Hey everyone, today's video is going to be uh, crafting, sort of, no-sew sewing project that I started, I don't even know how many years ago. I'm gonna say like two or three years ago? I don't know, but I ran out of the material and it took me forever to go back and get more of it and then I just put it in the corner and never went back to it. But you might have seen her hanging around in my previous videos. But um, yeah, today I will show you how to do a braided tulle skirt, basically a tutu, and I'm going to make it a no-sew. The only thing I sewed when I made this initially, before I took it apart, I sewed the elastic, but I'm not going to bother because I don't feel like it. And you don't need to, because it's going to be covered up by the tulle anyway. So. We'll make this a no-sew project. Why I ended up redoing this in the first place is that when I first created this tutu skirt, it wasn't thick enough, and so it was really, really see-through, so you couldn't like not wear anything underneath, <laughs> or it would be really inappropriate. So I needed basically double the amount of tulle, which I had everything except for this lovely purple shade, which was only found in Michaels apparently, because I bought it the first time from Michaels and then couldn't find it anywhere else and I don't really shop at Michaels because they're a bit pricey and expensive in the first place so maybe a year down the line I went back to Michaels because of like the Christmas sales or the what's it Christmas maybe Black Friday probably the Black Friday sales and then I bought another roll but um, this tutu definitely does suck up a lot of the product. Basically the materials you will need, you'll need depending on how long you want your skirt and how full you want it to be. I'm um, trying to think back on how many things I used. If they are only like 10 yards you'll need about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you might need about 10 or so depending on how full and how long you want it but this um, we're gonna kind of just use what we have and see what we get because I'm not gonna go out and buy anymore next since this is a no so you will need your handy dandy hot glue gun or fabric glue I have both but I don't feel like waiting for the fabric glue to dry so I'm gonna use a hot glue gun and you will need elastic and scissors and that's basically it. I will kind of show you step by step on how I create my braided tulle skirt and it'll be easy as pie so if you have tulle or other fabric I guess I mean I don't know <laughs> how that'll work out but you can still try it yourself if you need a project to do while you are stuck in quarantine and you want to make something so we will get right into it. However long you want your skirt to be, you want to double that length since you'll be folding each piece in half. So I'm going with the same length that I did initially, which was about 33 inches or so because I wanted it to be about a foot and a half long. Just measure out your tool and cut it. I was only able to do one roll on camera because this cat was just being a real pain and it gets super excited anytime I do any of these type of videos with fabric or whatever and he just likes to be in the way and he thinks it's playtime so I cut the rest off camera before I did this just so you can see what I do. He ruined my other pile on the side so I had to try and do some type of organizing to get a handle of everything and it just wasn't working out for me. So overall I have about 17 strips of the blue, 19 strips of the purple, 50 strips of the white, and 76 strips of pink. And I had to kind of figure out what I wanted the pattern to be with what I had. This cat literally rolled in every last 
piece of glitter there was on that mat and he was covered entirely. <laughs> and he still has glitter in his fur till this day. If your fluffy child allows it, measure your elastic band around your waist so you get the perfect fit and hot glue the ends of it to link it together. For the skirt application, you want to fold your tool in half and take the loop part over the top of the elastic and wrap it around leaving a hole and you want to pull the ends of the tool through it. To create the braided link chain, you're going to keep doing the loop process as you did initially and you want to take one of the pieces from the previous tool link and also pull that through the whole loop. I'm not sure if I'm explaining any of this properly but you kind of can see what I'm doing so you can follow along. And you just rinse and repeat this chain link. It does become difficult when you're using different types of tool because the purple tool is much thicker than the pink and the glitter also makes it difficult to kind of wield it and it makes it really messy and I regret using it but it does look pretty. So you do have to do a lot of fiddling and maneuvering and trying to make everything look the same. If I were to do this again, I would use one type of tool, whether it be all glitter so it's fluffy or plain and more clean cut, organized looking. When you finally get to the last step, which is completing the full 360 link of the tool, you're going to do the same step as you've been doing in all of them, but you want to kind of loosen the last link and pull one of the ends from the previous link through like you were doing everything else and that will keep it all connected. Then you can fluff it out and make everything set and even. I ended up not using all of the tool because I couldn't fit all of it onto the elastic band. It wasn't enough to make another skirt and I wanted to get rid of this tool so I decided to make a set of wings by using cardboard, hot glue, and the tool. I measured out about the length of my hand for the back frame piece and I drew out two wings and I folded the ends of each wing so I can connect it with the glue. You want to make sure it's kind of inverse flipped <laughs> before you put the glue on and you make sure it sits right. I didn't do that in the first place and I ended up having to glue the other side but it doesn't matter because it's all getting covered anyways. Then you can go wild and crazy with however you want to glue your tool onto your wing. Just make sure you leave the very middle of the frame blank because you don't want it to be really itchy on your back and you want it to sit properly and you want to have enough space for you to properly glue on your straps.
For the straps, I just used clear elastic because I didn't really want it to show through and black would have been too much of a difference since this whole thing is light and pastel. So I wanted it to kind of blend in. So I just glued one side of the elastic. I picked up the wings and wrapped around my back to fit my arms properly. And then I measured the other side and I double glued it to the back piece. And that was basically it. The back was kind of empty, so I terribly folded a golden ribbon to make a bow for the back to put everything together, but I'm probably going to take that off and redo the bow and make it nicer, but you get the gist of it. So thanks for watching. Hope you found it easy and you can now braid your own tool skirts and have a bunch of tutus if you want. I don't know. I, I don't know why it took five years to complete this tutu, but it did. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is, but at least it's finished and I can finally move on to the next thing I've been hoarding in my closet. So, if you're new, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and the rest of you can hit the notification bell just so you are informed whenever I do post because it's so random and crazy. But, um, yeah, I'm really tired and I'm going to go to bed now, so I will see you guys later. So have a wonderful night, morning, evening, or afternoon, whenever you're watching. And, again, I will see you guys next. Surely you can see that you could never make her happy. I didn't know I could feel like that. Oh, for Pete's sake, say yes or no. Oh, yes, the sleeping pills.